I'm dripping junket. How you doing everybody? Ralph here, Ralphie's Reviews. Team Knucklehead. Um, let me just back this camera up a little bit though. Those uh, keen-eyed, whoa, fucking look at that shake, well, well. Those keen-eyed amongst you um, might notice that we're not at work today. Because it's Sunday, so I've uh, come into the sanctuary of the conservatory here at Knucklehead Towers. Uh, and we're going to carry on the 2700 series of reviews. There's the Triple X and the Admiral that I'm going to review. And we've just got the Darth Vader style in. The Vader style, not Darth Vader. But we know what they mean. So I'll get onto them in due course. So yeah, today we're going to look at the Triple X. Uh, one of Vapor Clouds. Um, creations it can take either 18650 or 2700 uh, i've been using this since we got them in which is quite a little while now and they're fucking good let me have a quick vape they proper do it you know um a few weeks maybe it's a couple of months in to using 2700s and how they compare to 18650s and I can honestly say that I'm still well impressed. They definitely hit as hard. And I am convinced that they last longer. So what's not to like? Well, there's not the scope of mods for a start off. And they don't tend to be petite because the battery is quite a chunk. So the mod's going to be quite a chunk. Apart from that, I can't fault them. 2700, it is the future. I reckon, absolutely. Let me have a quick slurp. Oh, let me have another last night. So, as you can see, I've got the triple X in brass. Uh, we've got copper and black as well, if memory serves me right. And they, like I say, they're running 18650 or 2700. I've polished this up and it looks pretty fucking snazzy to me with the old Goon 1.5 on. Um, have another vape. They definitely do it. They definitely perform. Yeah. We'll go in close. We'll have a look, as always. And then we'll come back, have another vape, talk a little bit more. So I'll see you in a minute, yeah. Yeah. Triple X. Lovely, lovely bit of kit. I love the shape and the design and it's really tactile. It's not too big, especially when you consider it takes a 2700 or an 18650. We've got your hybrid 510, real smooth threads there, four vents and the slots to take out any gases should you suffer catastrophic failure. And then, whoa, you've got your tube. And inside, you've got your adapter for use with the 18650. So if you use an 18650, you use that little fucking Delrin adapter. Take this ring off that's tighter than tight. There we go, got it. Take that ring off, I won't bother. And when you screw it all together with your atomizer on, jobs are fucking good. And if you're using the 2700, then take that out, keep it safe. 2700 goes in, all goes together nicely with your atomizer on, and then you snug your fucking beauty ring down, and it's away. Fucking great. Great bits of fucking kit. You've got a silver plated contact down there. Uh, magnets in the switch. And this won't turn. See that's a little peg look. So it stops your switch, uh, your button from turning. And the thing undoing in your pocket. And firing off or whatever. Um, to undo it you want to get in there with it, some long nose tweezers. Or one long pin or something suitable. And give it a bit of a turn and then you'll get it straight out. Really, really simple. Really effective. And absolutely fucking stellar. Like I say, I love the shape. I really do. Real clear logo on there. Button sits just under. So it's just recessed fractionally. Look, You're not going to get any problems with it auto-firing. Or any misfires while it's in your pocket. 
and it all does up super snug and super sexy we've got them in brass and black brass which is my preferred they look lovely in the black brass don't they and work really really fucking well yeah let's go back up top have a vape talk a bit more okay so there you go um triple x fucking bob on let's look at the, the pros and cons i think the only thing i could fault it for is that unlike the 1111 it hasn't got that constant contact switch system these were out before so that's an innovation if you like but it's not a fault there's nothing wrong with it because it's not got that you know the majority of mods don't have it um it's a bit like this internet and the technology that we use to communicate now multimedia and and social media etc if there's a little glitch in the system we're quick to say that's fucking shit that is but when you actually think what it's doing it's fucking amazing so yeah this is fucking amazing all right it's not got constant contact so fucking what most of the mods out there haven't does it hit like a fucking pissed up stepdad? Yeah, it fucking does. Does it feel good in your hand? Yeah, it's fucking chunky monkey fucking time. Does it put you on that steam train to fucking flavour town? You fucking know it. So, triple X styled mods. Run them in 2700 or 18650 mode and you know they're going to fucking do it. You're a winner, winner, chicken fucking dinner. Absolutely. Bob on. So there you have it. Yeah. Check them out. I'll put a link in as always. Um, and next up on the agenda is going to be the Admiral. If memory serves me right. Yeah. And that will conclude my little mini series of uh, three reviews on 2700. Since I started the miniseries, because we've been so fucking busy, it's unbelievable. It's been weeks in between reviews, we've now got the Vader mods in. Um, so that'll be a fourth, a fifth even. I don't fucking know where I'm at. I'll be a fourth, <laughs> be a fourth review to include for the 2700s. I'll get onto that one as and when, I guess. Um, made a few changes over at HQ. So hopefully I'll have a few more spare afternoons to catch up on all my reviewings. So bear with. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you all choose? Yeah. Big love everyone. And I'll see you all again real soon.